Did you know we're in solar maximum? Yeah, yeah. So the sun's in the most active part of its solar cycle, right? And I have a lot of clouds here today, but I can still spot the sun through this telescope with a solar filter. Never look at it without a solar filter, proper solar equipment, um, and knowledge on how to use it. You don't want a little low-key death ray. But check out these sunspots on the sun. There's a lot right now. We're in solar max for another year or more where we're seeing more solar storms, geomagnetic storms and stuff, and aurora displays like we saw back in the May 10th one, October 10th one, and I think even in August, you could see them all over the country. But check out these sunspots. Look at all those sunspots, right? Now, these are cooler regions on the sun's surface caused by the magnetic fields. Now, they can produce the solar flares, which is light and radiation that travels at the speed of light, sometimes towards Earth, and boom, hits us like at the speed of light. But those solar flares can also produce coronal mass ejections, which is high energy particles in plasma bursts off the sun, travels towards Earth like 300 to 3,000 kilometers a second or something. And that's what gives us those uh, geomagnetic storms and northern lights that we've seen all over the place. And right now the sun's in its most active part of its solar cycle, solar maximum. So we're seeing a lot more sunspots and that's going to last for like another year or more. So uh, keep an eye out for space weather and what's going on with the sun because we might get some more big aurora displays like we saw earlier in the year. Well, it looks like it's too cloudy for us here with the sun, but uh, we got to see it a little bit. So yeah, that, welcome to astronomy.